It's beer and food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I was in Home Bargains and I seen this lager and I thought to myself, I, the last time I drank this lager, Spanish lager, Mahu, 5.1% ABV, uh, brewed and bottled in Spain, Madrid in Spain. Uh, it's a 330 milliliter bottle, 5.1. Uh, but yeah, the last time I reviewed this beer, uh, I made it kind of a, like a bit of a spoof video where I jumped in a swimming pool and found this bottle and I kind of like jumped up from the swimming pool. Oh, look at this, look at this lager and opened it and drank it in the swimming pool. And um, I think my daughter filmed it for me actually. Um, and I thought, I seen it and I thought, I'm going to give it another review because I didn't, uh, I wasn't really kind of like engaged enough with the beer at the time. So I thought, let's do a proper review of Mahu. So whilst I was there in home baggins, I seen this for £1.20, a bottle. And I thought, cheap as chips, pick that up. And I seen some chilli peanuts. You know, I love these coated chilli peanuts. And I don't think I've ever reviewed them. Or this type of nut, even though I eat loads of them, I've never actually got down and reviewed these these nuts. I love these coated nuts. I love the fact that they got this lovely, it's almost like a coated crunchy batter on them with chilli. Uh, these were £1.50 a bag. So without further ado then, let's get the bottle opener. And let's open this Mahu. So this beer, beer has been brewed in Madrid since 1890. If you buy it in a Spanish supermarket, well, the last time I haven't been to Spain for about four or five years, but it used to be like 70 cents for a big can of, of this Mahu lag. And it, was, it really wasn't expensive. Uh, there's a look at the beer then. So we've got a one finger white head, uh, good levels of carbonation, light straw coloured beer, obviously no sediment in there. It's all been made and brewed to look very clean and crisp, as most mainstream lagers do. Let's get the aroma. I like it. I like, it's funny, for years and years and years I hated, not hated, but I was kind of, I wasn't a big fan of lager, but these days, these days I love a lager, I really do. It's a little hoppy. There's some malt. There might be a little bit of corn in there, a little bit of maize. It's like lemony, stinging nettle, aroma to the beer. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Lots and lots of carbonation. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth. It kind of, it's hissy and fizzy on the palate. Very dry lager. But it's refreshing. Um, it's got a slight... Almost like a fuzzy, brute aftershave. Like you just poured a bit of aftershave by accident. You know, maybe you're singing a song while you're putting your aftershave on. You splash a little bit of aftershave on your, son, on your tongue. It's got that kind of like, blah, slight kind of drying chemical taste to the beer. That would be my only downside. I, I, I am noticing that regarding the beer. 
it's a bit it's a bit like you've eaten a load of those maize crisps and you get that kind of like crisp tone from maize crisps let's have a look at the ingredients on the in the beer then if if there are any well ah there we are uh barley malt maize and hops barley malt maize and hops so there yeah there, there is maize in the beer i prefer generally if i'm going to drink a, a a lager i much prefer an all malt lager 100 percent all malt lager um they might co cost you a couple of pence more but generally the quality for me is far superior to dare i say it something brewed with rice or maize i find rice and maize to be as well let's just get this bit out of the way I find it to be inferior. I find maize and rice in beer. I find it to be an inferior taste, an inferior mouthfeel, and it, it just it just tastes a bit cheap. It tastes a bit cheap. Now bear in mind this bottle was one pound twenty. Um, there's not many beers you can buy these days for one pound twenty. Most people are not going to pick up that kind of dry maize, maize crisp mouth flavour that or feeling that you get from the beer. Most people will happily stand and drink this all day. It's only that I've reviewed nearly 9,000 beers that I'm at that stage where I can go, oh yeah, it, 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 you can taste it, you can, you, you can taste it. As much as now, I've been to. Um, I remember a Japanese brewery, Kirin, Kirin Ichiban, and I went to the UK brewery where this was contract brewed, and they were telling me this story of of they were really proud of the beer, the the Kirin people that they they would always have somebody from Kirin, the Japanese brewer, at the contract brewery to oversee quality control of the beer. And that they thought that rice was the way forward in brewing beer and it was going to kind of like take over the world. Um, for me, I've never been convinced. I've never been convinced by rice. I've never been convinced by maize. If I'm going to drink a lager, if I'm going to buy a four pack of lager and enjoy it in the sunshine, then generally I'm going to look for an all malt lager. But it's OK. It's, it's OK for what it is. Let's get these chilli peanuts. Oh, is this, are these going to embarrass me with? Yeah, thought so. <laughs> right. I don't have a knife. So we're going to get the old gardening shears on these. There we are. There we go. These are the real deal. I love these chili, chili peanuts. Battered, the batter coating. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Straight away, caught the back of my throat. What? Not a, like a crazy amount of chilli, but enough chilli to make you go, <clears throat> ooh, you notice it. Crispy, crunchy, nice peanuts. It's got like an organic Almost like a freshly cut grass flavour in here. 
I'll tell you where I get that from. Jalapeno. Green jalapenos. Give me that kind of organic. Fresh cut grass flavour. It's These are spicy. These are catching the back of my throat. Mmm. And with the beer, chili peanuts and beer. What more do you want from life? Yeah, lovely. I like that. 42% peanut. The, the rest is all the kind of batter. Garlic powder, chilli seasoning, dextrose, cayman pepper. Ah, that's what it is. The cayman pepper, that's what's doing it. Habanero. They're good. They're worth £1.50. The beer. Look, if I'm on holiday and I'm patched in Spain walking down the promenade, you know, blowing, sweating, and I see a cold bottle of Mahu, I'll buy it and drink it, no problem. It'll never be the best beer in the world, but it's been brewed for walking along that promenade, boiling hot, you know, searching for your first refreshing beer of the day. It's been brewed for that very purpose. Um, it will never be the best beer in the world, but it'll never be the worst beer in the world either. It's bang average, if I'm honest. Bang average. Six out of 10. Six out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. The Chili Peanuts, my Garden of Eden in Home Bargains, they're like really good. They're an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10 for the chili peanuts. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.